You might think of boxing as a violent sport, but a local group sees it as a solution to fighting gun violence. CBS 17's Galat Malaman is live in Durham with a message from those putting on tonight's boxing event. Galat. The group Rumble in the Rock sees boxing as a way to keep youth off the street, not only by training them in the sport, but by teaching them that gun violence is never the answer. Boxing isn't just a sport for the organizers of this fight in Durham. It's a way to fight gun violence. Rumble in the Rock's his motto, guns down, gloves up. Teaching kids that we could solve, resolve conflict without going to the most extreme violence and that we could all come, in, come together in friendly competition to solve our, our problems in conflict. Rodney Cameron is the CEO and founder. He uses boxing to lure in youth and young adults, then mentors them, teaches life skills, and helps resolve conflicts without turning to guns. Cameron's coaxed Marcus Bowes both in and out of the ring for nearly a decade. He uh, coached us on what not to do, don't take your steps in life, and it, it helps a lot. Because at times we, we, get, we get low, get down, we want to do things we ain't supposed to be doing, he just tells us not to do it. The Roxborough group wants to spread its message to other cities. And Durham is kind of plagued with a little gun violence too, so we felt like we could bring a, a really good message here and this would be a good spot for it. This week, two people were shot and killed in the Bull City, a Duke graduate student and a 17-year-old. While the number of people shot is down compared to the same time last year, the number of shootings are up. <laughs> DeAndre Mincer has lost too many friends and family members to gun violence, deciding a few years ago to pick up the gloves and a cause. It means a lot because, you know, I, you can live to fight another day. So, yeah, it means a lot. Putting them guns down, too many young lives being lost out here. Cameron says the group had three boxers go pro. If you're interested in working with Rum on the Rocks, we have their contact information up on our website, cbs17.com. Live in Durham, Gilat Malamed, CBS 17 News. All right, Gilat, what a great idea. Thank you so much.